Hey guys, Justin Bryan here from SelfMadeSuccess.com and I'm going to show you a new trend in web design that can help you increase your blog conversions and uh, make your site more user friendly in general. I'm going to show you four different sites that are implementing this new type of web design, uh, why it works, and uh, a few pros and cons to it so you can make a decision on whether it works for you okay so the first blog I want to look at is the sumo me blog okay sumo me uh, gives us WordPress website tools that we can use to uh, get more shares get more traffic get more leads things like that and they have kind of a big tool suite that you can use for free or you can pay for a premium one um, but Sumo Me is obviously big in the marketing world and they have a blog that you might notice doesn't have a sidebar so obviously the sidebar is just that bar over here on the usually on the right side sometimes on the left but usually on the right and it'll have ads it'll have email opt-in forms it'll have popular post links it'll have links to social profiles things like that and a lot of times it can make a website look kind of cluttered and it can actually make them um, distracting it can take away the attention of the reader so let me show you another example of a popular blog that uh, doesn't have a sidebar okay and that would be buffer okay buffer has a big blog in the social media marketing world and obviously they have that buffer tool that allows you to automate your social media posting which is very popular in the marketing world but um, as you can see their blog looks similar it's centered it's um, more narrow than a full width blog would be usually it would be like way out here but as you can see Buffer, Sumo Me, these these sites are going more clean, uh, less cluttered, and um, they're going away from the sidebar. Now, another reason for doing this, besides making it more clean and uh, less cluttered, is it it narrows the focus of the reader. It can focus they can focus on the content easily. They can focus on whatever action you want them to act to actually take when they're on the site so if they want to if they want to focus on opting in the email if they want to just focus on reading the content or if they want to focus on um, where you want to share whether you want them to share the blog post things like that are typical actions for uh, readers but a lot of times they'll get distracted from doing those things because they'll be looking at your sidebar it's got ads it's got all these links it's got all these options for them and the more options they have actually the less action people usually take so another blog that does this is one of the biggest SEO brands in the world which is moz.com okay so they have a blog here as you can see it looks very similar to in the way it's structured it's, uh, it's narrow it's in the middle there's no sidebar at all on either side whatsoever um, all you see is a little share bar over here on the side, but they're going more for the no sidebar look, and they haven't even been doing this very long before ma me making this video. So um, mo this is a new trend in this video as I'm showing you it here in uh, late May 2016. This is a new trend. We'll see where it goes from here, but this is a big deal in web design because the biggest sites that are doing this are all marketing sites they're all big marketing brands they are constantly tweaking testing and experimenting with different web designs different ways of converting more sales different ways of getting more engagement and a lot of them are switching to the same type of design that got it that has to tell you something okay so and last but not least I'm going to go to medium this is just a random blog post on Medium, and as you can tell, Medium is centered and a no sidebar blog design as well. So Medium basically just gives a place for people to write. Okay, hence the name Medium. They give people to write blog a place to write blog posts, 
where they don't have to come up with their own blog, they don't have to get their own domain, and go through all the hassle of creating their own website from scratch. So, um, as you can tell, they are very clean, minimalist, and you can tell they don't have much of a header, they don't have much of a footer. It's very simple, clean, and focused on content. It's all focused on reading the content, which is usually what people click on your blog post to do. So, the biggest benefits of doing this are you focus the reader's attention away from clutter, away from too many options. You give them less options, you get more action on the most part. I encourage you to re read a lot of case studies on these things. Most of them increase conversion when they get rid of their sidebar. But another benefit, it's clean, it creates more white space, and it just looks nicer. It looks um, it gives you less of a headache when you're looking at it. I mean, some of them don't have a lot in their sidebar, but a lot of sites just stuff it full of stuff because they think they can milk every drop of money or engagement out of people if they do that. But a lot of times that's not the case. So another thing that it also does is it creates a more consistent user-friendly design no matter what device you're on the site on. So there's three main devices you're on a blog for. Okay, You're on the internet using a mobile smartphone device, you're using a tablet, like an iPad, or you're using a desktop or a laptop computer. Those are the three main ways you're going to be on the internet looking at these types of sites. So the thing is, on smartphones, you can't even see the sidebar. In fact, the middle of the page is all you can see. You see the image, you see the header, and you see the content. That's all you see is the middle. You don't see the sidebar. Okay, The sidebar actually is listed after the post in mobile browsers. And almost half of your traffic is coming from mobile now. That's why companies like Google and all these search engines are putting a big emphasis on mobile friendliness because of the rise in mobile traffic year to year is you know it's through the roof so if you do this you're wasting less space you're actually making your site faster that's an that's a fourth great reason to do this is you're loading less images less links less HTML uh, things like that that would usually be in your sidebar because you cleaned it up and you're just loading the text and whatever you have within the blog post along with your header. That's all you're loading. So you speed up your website, you make it look cleaner, and you narrow the focus of the reader on a couple of things instead of having them overwhelmed with clutter, and you make it more consistent, user-friendly interface for whatever um, device they're reading your stuff on. Okay. So the downside of doing this and get, removing your sidebar would be because you can get less on the page. It's a lot harder to stuff things within the blog post that you would usually have in the sidebar. So if you have a ad or links or something that usually you would rely on in the sidebar, you no longer have that. Now you can put those in the footer which is a great place to put extra links, extra, you know, popular post links, extra things like that. You can have a, if you have a picture of yourself with a description of the author in your sidebar, you can just get a simple author plugin that goes under the blog post that tells a little bit about who wrote the post. You know, there are a lot of things you can do with the header plugins and the footer to make up for no sidebar okay but it can speed up your site get better conversions by narrowing the readers focus it makes it more user friendly and consistent no matter the device and it just looks cleaner and it looks professional I mean in my opinion it's just easier to read when you have something like this so you know test it look at case studies 
I'm not saying you should take all this and just go do it right away. It might be different in your case. Uh, it's really up to you to test it and to read more into it. But I just want to show you something that's kind of a rising trend right now. And we may just be on the ground floor a few years from now of making this video. Who knows what websites are going to look like. But um, if you got something from this video, if you learned a little something, uh, please like it and subscribe so I can make more videos for you like this. And um, if you want to let us know your experiences with sidebars and no sidebars, things like that, web design, uh, let us know in the comments or just let us know what you thought about the video. We'd love to hear from you. And if you want to contact me, get more in-depth resources, more in-depth training, and things like that on these types of concepts, how to market, how to build a product, how to be a better entrepreneur who's more productive, things like that. You can go to selfmadesuccess.com. And other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.